Wendy Monaghan and I'm the Education Manager for the Marine Society. The Marine Society is a charity that's been around for over 250 years. We provide advice and guidance and we facilitate education for seafarers. My name is Glenys Jackson. I'm the head of the Merchant Navy Training Board, which is a part of the Chamber of Shipping. Um, that's the, the Ship Owners um, Association, the Trade Association. And we're the dedicated bit of the Chamber that looks after um, Merchant Navy education and training programmes. My name is Mike Jess. I'm Assistant General Secretary for Norsus International the trade union which represents over 25,000 maritime professionals. My name's Andrew and uh, I've recently finished uh, a Slater scholarship and uh, recently qualified as, uh, as an officer of the watch for my unlimited ticket and um, using the, the Maths at Sea uh, website really helped in what I was wanting to achieve with my officer of the watch ticket. Well, Maths at Sea is an online diagnostic and upskilling course which has been designed for the maritime sector. The programme has been written by maritime professionals at South Tyneside College. What's more, it's marine contextualised so that nautical students can relate to the maths that they are going to be studying at college and what is going on on board. I think maths is essential if, you, if you're actually going to be an officer at sea. Um, you know, it's, it's, you, you need to understand algebra, geometry, trigonometry and the rest. Uh, and therefore this particular um, scheme means that um, we can identify those potential um, trainees who might need some further support with, with their maths. Uh, and, and this provides that, uh, that help for them. Maths to, to, this, to sort of today's seafarer is as important, I think, as it was before. It, it's, it's imperative. Everything you, you do is, is based on mathematics, from, from navigation to stability calculations. Although things are done by computer, largely now, um, you, to have an understanding of how how you sort of get the figures that you get at the end of it is, is still very important. We've also found that um, ship operators and crew manning agencies worldwide are using the programme as part of their selection progress process. And certainly for an individual who, if they were going on to our foundation degree officer training programme, um, then they may not have done any maths for two years because um, the entry requirements for that programme would be on specified A-levels. So they may not have done maths since their GCSEs um, or their standard grades. And in which case, to be able to um, practice their maths skills, refresh and renew their maths skills, is very, very important. And they can do that um, using this, this programme. The, the very fact that that this course has been designed by seafarers for seafarers makes it makes it so sector specific. Unlike other courses that I, I've come across for, for for maths to better yourself at maths. The course is an e-learning online um, upskilling course. It's not only an upskilling course; so it's a diagnostic tool. So first of all, somebody can go along and find out just where their level of maths is and where maybe they need to brush up their skills. One of the reasons that this project actually um, hit the right note with, with the Slater Fund was that um, we have encountered a number of people dropping out from the training courses um, as, a, as a result of the fact that um, they were having difficulty with, 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 the, with the maths re required for uh, maths at sea. Um, and now with this um, diagnostic uh, tool, which which is available um, through, the, through the project, um, we can actually pick up much earlier where um, trainees may have those, those difficulties uh, and actually support them, which means that we're not going to lose them uh, along the way. Yeah, using maths at sea certainly gives you a lot more confidence in, in, your, in your ability. If you're embarking on an officer of the watch scheme afterwards, or you're going to do a GCSE in maths, or you're simply just trying to, to better your qualifications, just something to put on a CV, even within the company. It, it certainly gives you a bit more confidence in, 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 in your mathematical ability. If, if, I, if I 
could summarize Maths at Sea, I would say it was it was interactive, to the point, and and addressed the needs of of, of a seafarer or a nautical student. Um, and I, I'd certainly recommend it, even even if you just didn't want to take it any further, just to do it as a confidence building exercise. I, I couldn't couldn't fault it. As a Marine Society representative, I would like to invite you to benefit from Maths at Sea by visiting mathsatsea.com today.